How exciting is it being able to play? Uh, I know you registered last year or you're here last year and whatnot. You registered now. What are you excited to play on Saturday? I'm, really, I'm super excited. But you know, the main thing I'm worried about is knocking the butterflies out in the first play. Okay. I always got to knock the butterflies out because I've, uh, I've been a year out. I don't know the speed of the game yet. So I got to get adjusted to the speed of the game because right now I'm, I'm really still in, in high school spirit because I don't know. I haven't played a snap. Okay. So I don't know how the game speed is. So I got to get used to it. And when I get used to it, everything's just going to click like that. Awesome. Um, you know, what's the biggest difference between last training camp and this training camp for you? What do you think? Um, last training camp, I was taught many lessons because mm -hmm. I was hurt. Right. I was looking from from the outside point of view. Like I was it, it, being hurt, it make you a student of the game. You know what I'm saying? So it make you study your position more, watch film a little bit more, study what you should be doing, what you don't be doing. And like this training camp, I took took lessons from last training camp, putting this this training camp. Mm -hmm. I was helping my brothers out a lot. I was mainly focused on staying healthy a lot and trying to help them out. And so, you know, my main focus was like, you know, to get on the field, mm -hmm. improve as much as possible, make make everybody proud, you know what I'm saying? Like, help the team win. Mm -hmm. So, that's, that's my main primary focus. Awesome. I know you moved to the Jack, uh, the Jack position behind, but well, behind Elm. What was that, what was that transition like? I, I know I know you put on some some weight too. Uh, me, me and Elm. To my relationship, me and Ellen. Um, you know, what was the tran transition like? I, I think you played a defensive end maybe last year. Yeah, you moved to Jack. It's, it's a little pretty, bit a little different. It's or? pretty much the same thing, but you know, I was stand up a lot mm -hmm. at Jack, and I was in, in high school. I was always down, so I was I was used to standing down. But standing up now, it's, it's kind of helped me build my mood, and I got bigger and faster and stronger. So, you know, I feel like it's a perfect fit for me. Yeah. And like that's why I chose the school because like they they understand the vision. I understood I understood their vision, Coach Ad's vision. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it, it's a lot of great things going to happen um, behind Ellen and Jack. So we always stay out the practice and work on things. You know I have I have a lot of brain farts, but you know it's when Coach Ads and Coach Nineties and Coach um, Brown come mm -hmm. in and September like see man, you know you should be going this way and all that. So I get a little extra film time, see what I'm doing wrong, see what I'm doing right. And most of the time I don't I don't ever focus on what I'm doing right. I'm, for the time, like I'm doing wrong, like I I, put, I expect every play to be right. right. In my mindset, I feel like if I help, if I do my job and help my brothers out, my my dad go smooth. I, I was, so. A couple weeks ago, I was talking to uh, Coach Niners. He mentioned you you had a bunch of sacks during during camp. But now, did you feel is 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 that your strength? You think getting a, a rush in the pass rush in, in general? Yeah, I work on um um, um pass rush a lot, mm -hmm. and like Coach Niners was like, man, I'm, everybody came. I'm I'm excited for what you can do training camp because there was no. Cause they was like, what's up, man? <laughs> they was excited for me what I was doing to the training camp. Cause you know I ain't played last training camp, and so my mindset, I went in. I was like, man, I gotta get on the stat sheet. I gotta get on somewhere. So it was like, it was like um, most turnovers, sacks, and most most stats a lot. And I got, uh, I won in the stat line. I think I had like 11 sacks, 11 to 12 sacks in training camp. I never, I never let that get to my mind though, cause I was like. It don't mean nothing until like to the season comes, so it never got to my head. I never panicked about teammates like, yeah, I'm leading the sack. Right. Like, no, I was always humbled about it, but at the same time, I was like, this, this, this is this it. Like, I want to see, I want to go against Ohio State, all the Big Ten people, right. and see what I can do. Because right. I don't know, anybody can practice against their own teammates. You know? right. They, they have their days or whatever. I want to see what I can do against other teammates. Nice. So. Cool. I have, I have two more quick things. Um, you know, Vocal Trey now, you obviously in the NFL. You know, he was obviously here last year with you. Mm -hmm. What did, I, I'm sure you talked to him in practice. What now? I talked to him. I talked to him a lot. Yeah. Has, what's, what kind of tips or advice to give he you? He always send me videos and stuff, and okay. I, uh, we always catch up a lot. And then like Kamoko, he always I send him my film, and Kamoko mm -hmm. tell me what what I'm doing wrong, what I should be doing. He sent me his film, and I had missed his first game the other day, and I had texted him. I was like, man, how you do? I missed the game. He was like, man, I gotta get uh, get get off better and all that. We communicate all the time. I follow him on Instagram, see how he doing. He check up okay. on me. I check up on him. Okay. Our relationship great. I take a lot of stuff from him, you know what I'm saying? A, a lot of great jewels. I still work out with him every time he come up here. It's been a lot of love. So. Nice. Uh, Les, I know you're from Tennessee. You uh -huh. know, what's what's the difference like between hit the Tennessee and, and, and Tennessee? Tennessee? Uh, Tennessee is hot. Yeah. Real hot. So when people get up here, they be like, it's hot. I'm like, man, you have no idea. It be reaching like 98 degrees, 100 degrees in practice. I'm like, we got about 80 to 60 degrees. I'm like, man, this is a breeze right here. <laughs> like, man, I'm not used to this. And then up here, it get really cold. Really cold. I'm talking about, I never seen so much snow a day in my life. In in Tennessee, we only get two inches of snow. <laughs> so I'm be like, man, what is going on with the snow? I'm like, yo, this this is different. Like I had to buy some Timberland yeah. boots, a lot of extra jackets. I'm like, man, come on, it's it's too cold. I'm like, man, we gotta walk. 
I gotta walk to practice in the cold. I'm like, oh man, come on, my, oh, you know. So it was, it was a lot taking the, the snow in, but everything uh -huh. everything's great about this place. I like, I like my teammates, I like the brother, I like the culture here. Even even the people who don't play sports, even mm -hmm. other people in sports, they they accept me. We we great friends. I'm cool with a couple of basketball players, and yeah. soccer players. I'm cool with everybody here. So everybody, awesome. I got a great relationship with everybody. So, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Hey. Well